The following instructions conform to industry accepted guidelines. Tire puncture repair is profitable and easy if you follow these step-by-step -step instructions. The tools, equipment, and supplies featured in this video are available through your Myers Tire Supply sales representative. For the Myers Tire Supply representative in your area, call 1-800-998-9897 or visit MyersTireSupply.com. Hands-on training is available on request. Patch Rubber will train on-site, providing instruction, support materials, and testing during a do-it-right training seminar. Passenger Tire Puncture Repair Procedures Caution! Always dismount the tire from the wheel before using a probe, grinding attachment, or repair tool. Some tires may contain an aerosol tire sealer inflator that could have a chemical additive that is extremely combustible and could ignite from using such tools. Always wear safety glasses when repairing tires. Do not repair a tire. If there is 2 30 seconds inch or less of tread on any two adjacent tread grooves, the tire is not legal for use on U.S. highways. If the tire cord or steel belt is exposed, or if there are flex brakes or severe sidewall abrasions. If there is any evidence of a separation in the tread area or the sidewall of the tire. If there is any evidence to indicate that the tire has been run flat, do not inflate it as reinflation could result in serious injury. Dismount the tire and inspect it for inner liner damage. And don't repair a tire if there are punctures or damage in the shoulder or sidewall areas. Never use any rim that is bent, pitted from corrosion, cracked, or worn. Remove rust, dirt, or foreign materials from rim parts. Always inflate the tire to its maximum allowed pressure. Do not overinflate. Check the surface and the valve for the source of the leak or leaks by using water, soap solution, or leak detector. Locate the injury and circle it with a crayon. Remove the valve core to deflate the tire. Dismount and inspect the inside and outside of the tire on a well-lighted spreader for inner liner cracks, open splices, exposed tire cord or steel belts, broken beads or bead wires, bulges or blisters, or other interior damage. If any damage other than a one quarter inch maximum puncture injury in the repairable area of the tread is present, refer the customer to a full service repair facility. Two piece passenger tire puncture repair procedures. Repairable areas and limits. Puncture repair procedures for passenger tires are limited to one quarter inch maximum size injury in the repairable area of the tread only. Do not repair sidewall or shoulder injuries. All speed-rated tires may be repaired using the same materials and procedures as non-speed-rated tires. In some cases, the speed rating is retained or may be lowered. Consult the tire manufacturer to determine the rating of a repaired speed-rated tire and tire warranty considerations. Locate the injury and circle it with a tire crayon. Make sure the tire is repairable. Do not invert radial tires. Remove the foreign object and probe the injury with an awl to determine the angle of penetration. If the angle of penetration is 25 degrees or less from perpendicular, either the two-piece plug-in patch or a one-piece pilot wire patch plug unit may be used. If the angle of penetration is greater than 25 degrees from perpendicular, a two-piece plug-in patch must be used. Clean the inner liner area around the injury with patch rubber cleaner fluid and a scraper. Using a low-speed drill, maximum 1200 RPM, and the proper carbide cutter, ream the injury following the angle of penetration three times each from both the inside and the outside of the tire. Make sure you're using proper eye protection. Use a pilot wire plug stem to fill the injury and keep moisture from seeping into the tire. Coat the entire plug with patch rubber fast-dry self-vulcanizing cement. While the cement is still wet, push the guide wire through the injury channel from the inside of the tire. Using pliers to grasp the rubber portion of the stem, steadily pull it until one half inch of the plug stem is exposed outside the tire. Using a flexible knife, cut the plug on the inside of the tire one eighth inch above the inner liner. Be careful not to stretch the plug while cutting it. 
making sure the bead arrows of the repair unit are pointing to the beads, center the repair unit over the injury. Use a tire crayon to outline an area one half inch larger than the repair unit. Using a low speed buffer, maximum 5000 RPM, and a buffing rasp, buff the plug and the outlined inner liner area to a number one buffing texture. Be careful not to buff through the inner liner. Vacuum the area to remove the buffing dust. Apply a light coat of patch rubber cleaner fluid to the buffed area, scrape it clean, and allow it to dry. Apply an even coat of patch rubber fast dry cement to the buffed area. Allow the cement to dry until tacky. Drying time will vary depending on temperature and humidity. Never use external heat sources to speed up drying times. When the cement is dry, partially remove the poly backing from the patch, leaving enough in place to hold the patch. Be careful to not touch the cushion gum on the patch. With the beads of the tire in the relaxed position, Apply the patch to the buffed area, making sure that the bead arrow points to the bead. Remove the remaining poly from under the patch. Stitch the repair unit vigorously from the center working outwardly. Use as much hand pressure as possible. Make certain that the edges of the patch are stitched down tightly. Remove the top cover film. Apply patch rubber repair sealer to the overbuff area. Cut the plug flush with the outside tread area. 